Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing for you, series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie, I am excited for this, so hopefully it's really good. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing my super grody work, work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely the case today. Um, I went over there. I got off work about an hour and a half ago, something like that. And I went over there, and, you know, I was originally just planning to hit up McDonald's on the way home. But I went over there and I was like, you know, you know, I got to get some supplies and stuff anyway. And, you know, plus I'd been here and, well, you know, there's, 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 literally that. there's this local supermarket. They apparently got some pretty good sandwiches these days. <sighs> so I went in. I'm perusing around, you know, looking for stuff and, you know, trying to find the sandwiches. I find the sandwiches. I was successful. And, uh, yeah. So, what sandwiches did I find, folks? Well, I just got through reviewing a turkey and pepper jack sub sandwich. And this one, I'm even more excited for because it's, boom, it's a roast beef. Yay! I like roast beef. This is their Ready Meals roast beef and cheddar cheese sandwich. Yes! Please be good. Um, but yeah, so, like I said, I did get this from a local supermarket. It's a place called Jewel. Uh, sometimes Jewel Osco, kind of a combination there. But they're a supermarket brand that is, you know, specific to the Illinois area. Well, with that being the case, that means that this particular review is going to end up on my Eating Out Illinois playlist, which is a playlist for just Illinois spots. And because it's a sub-sandwich review, I have to preface it with three things, three things real quick. Number one being that for over two years now, I've been going on sub-sandwich adventures. What that means is I've been going out to basically every place that sells sub-sandwiches, be them you know, restaurants, delis, uh, what have you, I've been going over there, trying out sub sandwiches, reviewing them, and then posting those to YouTube. But that's where number two comes in, because I'm such a nice guy, I don't just post them to YouTube. I go over there, I actually have a specific playlist called Subs for Subs, where I go over there and I post all my sub sandwich reviews. So if you enjoy my sub sandwich reviews, first of all, thank you very much. Secondly, that's where they're all going to be. At the time I'm doing this, I have over 100 sub sandwich reviews on there. And that's where number three comes into play, because maybe, maybe even over a hundred sub-sandwich reviews isn't enough for you. Maybe you're greedy like that. Well, it's okay, because all you have to do is wait until Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is sub-day. That is the day when I go over there and I upload my sub-sandwich reviews. For over two years I've been doing this, I've been sticking with it. Every week you're going to go over there, you're going to get at least one sub-sandwich review. Then you can go over there and enjoy yourself with sub sandwiches and stuff. But anyway, let's get to the sub sandwiches. Please be good. I love a roast beef sub. Love a roast beef sub. Please be good. I beg of you. And it comes with mayo and uh, mustard. But we're going to forego though. I want just the just the sandwich. Now, it is a little bit surprising. Usually when I think of roast beef sub, I think of roast beef with provolone. But, you know, we can shirk tradition a little bit. I'm okay with that. So, let's get a thing for the thing. It looks like... Oh, no, let's get it from this side so it looks even sexier. Looks like this. Ha, 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 Let's give it a go. It's a good-looking sub. Okay. We got some good flavor here. Mmm. That proper roast beef flavor kicked in. Roast beef is one of those things, man. It's so simple. But you can fuck it up so hard. Bad roast beef is like a crime against the universe. It's so horrible. But good roast beef... That'll go over there and mend any chasm in your life. There's nothing that it can't make better. Um, unless you're like a vegetarian or a vegan or something like that. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, or you just don't like roast beef. 
So, okay. Basically, this sub uh, very similar to the previous sub, the Turkey and Pepper Jack, in that it's very solid for a pre-made sub. And what I mean by that is, you know, and like I said, I've reviewed a shitload of sub sandwiches, so I, I have some <laughs> I have some experience in this now. Thing is, I've tried pre-made subs from gas stations, from other supermarkets, plenty of places, you know. And the problem is, is that even in the best of circumstances, it's hard not to lose a little something with a pre-made sub, you know, because it's not being made right fresh, right, th right there. Something gets lost in translation. Now, that said, this sub, it tastes fresh. It's got a decent amount of flavor to it. It clearly, they didn't skimp on the ingredients. And I'm genuinely inclined to believe that the quality here is pretty good. I have, in fact, and I'm not lying, on at least one instance, on at least one instance, I had a much worse freshly made roast beef sub than this. I won't go into, you can go through the go through the playlist if you want to try to find it. But this is definitely better than that was. But again, it just does lose a little something. But for what's there, again, it tastes fresh. The bread tastes really nice. I mentioned this. I like it's got like the sesame on it. That's really cool actually. I like that a lot. It gives a little extra something, a little extra texture. The roast beef itself is nice, it's soft, it's moist. The roast beef is genuinely pretty solid roast beef. And I do appreciate how they built this because I actually did a pre-made sub from a different jewel a while back. And with that one I was actually more excited because they specifically used boar's head. And if you know anything about boar's head, I mean, you know, it's, that's some quality stuff. But the thing was, is that they gave you so little in the sandwich, it really kind of, you know, it just didn't really translate. But with this, you're getting a good amount of that beef. And maybe it's not boar's head, but it's definitely good quality. And it does taste like solid, ro or solid uh, roast beef. As for the cheese... That's got a nice, decently sharp cheddar taste. This, for all intents and purposes, is a good roast beef sub. It's not amazing or anything, but two questions have to be asked, though. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? And, I mean, I have to personally go with yes and yes. I think I would get this again, and I think that I would recommend it, because, you know, and a lot of what I'm saying is going to be just mimicking what I said from... Uh, Blah, 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 from the previous review with the turkey sub. You know, at the end of the day, like, are there better subs out there? Absolutely. Are there better subs near me out there? Absolutely. Are there, in fact, better pre-made subs out there? Yeah. Yeah, there are, actually. At the very least, uh, there's a place called Angelo Caputo's, and I've reviewed some of their subs before. I would say that those are, you know, a little bit better. But not by leaps and bounds. Like, there's genuinely... This is like a genuinely solid sandwich. The best way I could put it is that, you know, it's not a deli quality. It definitely wasn't, you know, it doesn't taste like it was prepared right there and fresh for you. But what it does kind of taste like is a really good interpretation of a sub that I could make myself. And that might seem like damning with faint praise, but, like, what I mean by that is this seems like something where I went over there, I picked out some good roast beef, some good cheddar, and I went over there and, you know, some good bread, and I went over there and constructed this you know, late one night when I was hungry. And, you know, it has that kind of, like, home-built feel. You know, again, it's not going to be quite as good as, you know, the proper deli stuff, but it does taste good, and, like, especially, you know, being that I like a roast beef sub, yeah, man, I could see myself getting this, because at the end of the day, even though, yeah, the flavor is a little bit muted, it, yeah, sorry, just bit my tongue, it still tastes like a roast beef sub, it's not outright spectacular, but the flavors are there. And I could see going over there and grabbing it as a pre-made option every now and again. By that same token, if I'm going over there and I'm recommending it, it entirely depends on the convenience factor for you. Because if you're in a situation 
where, you know, you have a proper deli near you and, excuse me, it's open when you need it and all that stuff. But, for a sub sandwich that I was able to pick up at 8 a.m. and go over there and, you know, have as an after work sub, that's genuinely way better than I would expect. So, yeah, I would go over there and recommend it. But again, kind of on a convenience thing. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your folks, go with themselves a truly roast beef to ask your rest of your life, because you can't roast beef. I know Mr. Oda Khaled, one of my frequent uh, commenters, he has mentioned he's not a big fan of, of uh, roast beef, and that's fair. that's fair. Some people, you know, just that's not their thing. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but... What you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. When we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what I want you to go out and do, hopefully, whether it's a roast beef sub, whether it's an Italian sub, whether it's a sub at all, I hope that, you know, whatever you are able to partake in, I hope that you enjoy it, that you appreciate it, and that it goes over there and it, you know, gives bounty to your personal existence. You know, I, I, I'm in a sort of uplifted mood today. I think it's because I got a concert coming up tomorrow. I'm all excited. Um, you know, but I really do. I hope that, you know, whether you're eating something or watching a good movie or whatever, you know, just enjoy yourself and, you know, take from it what you can. And, uh, you know, if you happen to get a roast beef sub in there, I mean, I'm just saying. 